Okay, now let us talk about this article coming from the Jamaica Gleaner. And we have a member of parliament in Jamaica that would want mandatory paternity DNA testing. Yep, you've heard right. We've got a very poor country that cannot pay their nurses or teachers a proper salary. They can't even build their own roads, but they are invested in people's bloodline, right? Now let us pick up the story from the Gleaner. And they're telling us St. James Central Member of Parliament, Heroy Clark's proposal for a law mandating paternity testing of newborns has been rubbished as simplistic and dangerous, right? Now, as usual, they've got to give some sort of an excuse to the sheeples to round them up and they are letting you know that it is important to get this law through because it will help with domestic violence right you need to understand that politicians they don't represent your best interests they are working for their puppet masters and why are they so obsessed over people's dna Couple years ago, the Jamaican authorities wanted to bring in identification with DNA technology. Why? You all need to understand that DNA is not just there to solve crime. Your DNA tells them who you are, how many lives you have lived. Yes, I said lives because we are all reincarnated spirits we have all lived before it is hard for a lot of you to understand what i just said because your various religions taught you otherwise right no another part you need to understand is that they know their puppet masters know that there will be a bloodline that will rise and oppose their new order that they are looking to bring in and they are desperately searching for that bloodline now many of you will say if you have done a blood test before given birth in a hospital if um, you have given blood then they will have your DNA but if you are from a country that don't have the facility to do all of that then they won't right not everybody in jamaica can afford to get sick if you understand what i'm saying because they cannot afford these fancy blood work right so usually when they get sick is when they are dying when they see a doctor i should say is when they are dying because not everyone can afford to do all of these blood work and um, urine tests and whatever they require right so they will not have a lot of dna samples around them so therefore they got to come up with a plan how to get as much dna sample right because it's not only to check your bloodline you need to understand that they can create bioweapons that can kill you based on your dna so when anyone is asking for your dna either by mandating a law or trying to bring in an id or anything once dna is involved you need to be very suspicious right because they've got mad technology out there that you don't know about right and they can read your dna they can read your dna and know which bloodline you are connected to and how many times you have lived right it's hard for a lot of you to piece what i'm saying because you have been programmed to believe in whatever religion you're a part of so therefore you cannot step outside the box and ask critical questions and connect the dots right because these religious leaders they 
train your mind and condition your mind to only believe what they say so if they tell you that god is a tree and the tree god is going to come and save all those who worship the tree and anybody who don't worship the tree is going to be destroyed then you're going to believe that right that is why there is so much different different religion right with different different teaching and it brings people in all different directions and we cannot use critical thinking we cannot connect the dots and we can't ask questions but know this politicians don't represent your best interests they work on behalf of their puppet masters and their puppet masters need to find the bloodline and they need to find it real fast right so whatever they put in the water or they put in the food you better wake up and wake up fast to the reality of what is about to happen let us pray and say glory be to the most high